Anyone else hate cutting some of this hardware cloth? <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to Bok Bok Bouquet. My name is Ricardo, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, take this moment to go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. Today we're gonna do a quick little video on my latest purchase, and it's changed my life drastically. So if you're anything like me, I always used to dread building things for chickens that would require hardware cloth like this, just because it's so hard to deal with. It springs up on you and cutting it, it's, it's a pain in the butt. Different tools you can use for it. You know, I started with like a little wire cutter thing type of deal, and I'm gonna show you how that works in just a moment. Then I found out you can actually cut through it with just using a pair of shears like this, a pair of scissors. You can cut through it, but now, my latest tool is this electric shears that I bought on Amazon. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. I'm not sponsored by it, but if you do purchase one of these, go to our link and we can get a small commission at no extra cost to you. Whenever you're using these electric shears, I am gonna recommend you wear some protective eyewear because these little metal things are gonna start flying all over the place and it could really damage your eyes really badly. So always wear some protection. And I'll show you real quick. It plugs into just an electrical cord and you could just go ahead and line it up and start cutting just like this. That makes things so much easier. I recently just did a big project with a big large chicken run and I was cutting like 24 different panels and when I got into the project I said how am I gonna possibly cut that with just some shears like I used to do. I would cut it one at a time like this and you know, it seems okay, but after a while, your hand starts to hurt. You start to really stiffen your fingers and it, it sucks the next day you're sore. The wire cutter, same thing. It's like just really slow to cut one little panel at a time like this. But then I looked up how, I could, how else can I cut hardware cloth like this? And then I, cry, I came across this product here on Amazon and I said, right, well, let's give it a try. I don't know if it'll work, but let's try it. And it worked out really well. If you have chickens or you're a chicken owner, you know that you're always dealing with this hardware cloth. Either I use it to make our chicken coop windows or like a chick brooder. And like I said, this current project that I just did, this large chicken run for a client. And uh, it made things so much easier. I was able to finish them real quick. Now we're going to do a little side-by-side -side comparison on the different tools I mentioned, like the wire cutter, some scissors, and the electric shears. Okay, first we're gonna go ahead and do the first one here with the wire cutters. And with this one, it works really well, but it's really timely because you gotta go one little, little slot at a time. And we're gonna just go on real time here in comparison to the other ones. This is all in real time. If the electric shears are done, you're watching how much longer this would take to do the wire cutters. Originally, that's the only reason we purchased the wire cutters was to cut this hardware cloth for like our chick brooder. And although it works, it takes a really long time. And to be honest, my hands are already fatigued. My hands are already kind of sore. I know, I'm just being a baby. But once you use the electric shears, you get spoiled that you don't want to do this again. But yeah, these electric shears are super cool. Like look how easy it cuts through any of this chicken wire. It's so much faster. Once I have this new tool, I don't want to cut it by hand ever again. It hurts, this keeps your hand going, and going, and going. If you keep chickens, ducks, guinea pigs, or even bunnies, it's a great tool to have, or even if you use some of the stuff in the garden, I definitely recommend it, 10 out of 10. If you want to find out how to buy it, like I said, I'll link it in the description below. That's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and hopefully gave you some ideas on what to use around your garden or chicken area. If you enjoyed the video, I think you'll enjoy one of these other videos we've done in the past. Feel free to watch some of those. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification so we can alert you when we upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.